There he is. There are many legends that make up the Jog On crew, but the youngest of them all is particularly cool. If you've ever watched the videos from Jog On that make up the 500k series, you might remember that there was someone that I met up with. I'm meeting the person who owns the smallest Jog On top we've ever produced. He simply goes by the name. Well, he's invited me to join him today at Parkrun, and we're going to see if we can dip under 30 minutes. Walking into the forest, the rain was really beginning to fall. As we make our way through the center of Alice Holt Forest towards the cafe, I'll just update you on the situation with my youngest subscriber and his history with Alice Holt Parkrun in Hampshire. Having run there some months back, he finished in the position of 194th, and his time was 33.22. Well, he came back very, very recently and took a huge chunk of time out of that. He dropped his position from 194th to 140th, and his time was 30 minutes and 35 seconds, getting closer and closer to that 30 minute mark. So today, the number one goal is to try to beat 3035, and maybe, just maybe, even dip under 30. And then, just as I was talking, you might simply know him, he appeared. It's Jog Ollie. As the first time as briefing was delivered, Jog Ollie and I began our efforts to get ready. Okay, warm up stride, let's go. As it was so cold, Ollie had the smart idea to do some squats. <gasps> we take this parkrun stuff very seriously here. When you came really close, about 34, 35 seconds away from 30 minutes, is there anything you think you could do differently, Ollie? Not stop. Not stop. And last time you stopped on two occasions? One at the top of the hill, and then one at the bottom of cafe time. So we're gonna try if we can to cut out the two stops. The main thing is that we pace it steadily. The first bit is a big downhill. You feeling ready? No? Feeling cold? <laughs> Me too, it's gonna to go well. The announcements were read out and we discussed tactics. Ollie came up with an ingenious way to stay warm in the jog on top. So if we run six minute kilometers flat, that's 30 minutes. So if we can try and just dip inside those sixes here and there, that would be excellent. So we'll see how we do for pacing. I reminded Ollie of the fact that we had 5,000 meters of hills ahead of us. As they suggested we make our way to the start line, Jogoli shot off. He's a nutter! He's already started! Jogoli! Have you ever seen anyone more keen for parkrun? What are you doing? This is where I start. Oh, that's where you start? Oh, right. This is our starting position. By the corner of the fence. It's tactical, isn't it, Ollie? We can, we can kind of pull ourselves to get a good head start. No sooner had we posed for a photo than the parkrun began, and we had to squeeze our way between runners. I think we just relaxed down the downhill, okay? Ollie seemed a touch sluggish, so performed a small power jump to re energize. Alright, Ollie. What like in the ditch? What like in the ditch? Heading a group through the forest, a small flash of orange could be seen amongst us. Dig in slowly up there. Cheers, Marshall. Lovely stuff, Ollie. Ollie briefly took over presentation duties. How are you feeling? I lost water today for the video. I'm tired. We settled way too fast. And proceeded to demonstrate how he would be breathing yeah. at the end of this 5k. <laughs> Probably. The arms began to drive as we hit the first incline. Jock Ollie making his way up. This might be why you stopped at the top of the hill last time if you attack it like this. Conserve our energy, okay? He's a man now. Heeding the advice, Ollie settled back as we were winding up through the trees and began waving to those watching. Come on, Ollie. It's the first heavy breath coming from Jog Ollie, but he's looking great, running strong. Trying to negotiate. You are? My legs His legs aren't. They're all muddy. <laughs> it's all right that we're getting muddy. One and a half kilometers in. Let's do this, Ollie. Picking our way across the leaf strewn path, there was little let up in the wet weather. With Jog Ollie just starting to fall off the pace, I encouraged him to get back on my shoulder. Down the hill. As the downhill intensified, we relaxed the shoulders and tried to let our feet go. Ollie, pick it up the pace slightly. Mud splattered legs. Come on, Ollie. Halfway, we're looking at about 14 minutes and 20 seconds, which puts us on for a great time. But now it's all about whether we can maintain that pace for the second half. Ollie's looking fairly fresh. I think his legs are a little bit tired. And now we've got the dreaded biggest hill of all. What's it called, Ollie? Dragon Hill. Dragon Hill. Well, we're going to take it on. I'm going to try not to stop. And then we come down there with a push this. Yes, we oh, do. That's, that's first place. Hold on, sir. Great running. Oh, it's Ollie. Come on. Dragon Hill would that's prove it. to be one of Ollie's that's toughest good. sections. Oh, you're going to have that huge relief. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. We continued to encourage him, and Ollie proceeded to half run, half walk up the biggest hill of the course. Let's do it. We're going to beat this time, Ollie. 
And as the hill finally leveled out, Ollie found new life in his tired legs just as we hit three fifths of the way round. Just past the three kilometer mark and about the mid 17 minutes. Everything looking good so far. Ollie did brilliantly up the hill without eating too much into our time. We came across an even younger participant. Thank you, Marshall. All good. As the rain soaked through our tops, Ollie found a rhythm and began to pick others off. It's about to tick past the 23 minute mark and we're approaching four kilometers run. Jog Ollie taking it on. Or at least once he'd finished fiddling with his watch strap. Okay, that's the 4K mark, 23 minutes and 40 seconds. That gives us six minutes and 20 seconds for the final kilometer. It's very, very doable. We've got a big hill at the end. We've just got to dig in now. Keep the pace going. Ollie's got to focus, try and ignore some of the pain and the discomfort. Beautiful running. A glance at the distance. Now 900 meters. To go. Beautiful stuff, Ollie. Look at this, attacking the hill. 560 meters to go. Ollie in the orange jog on top, tracking the orange cones, coming up to the turnaround point. What is essentially the long final straight up to the finish line. Here we go, Ollie. Beautiful, around the corner. And with that, we were onto the final long punishing straight, known as Cafe Climb. Look at this. Powering through. Remember, it's going to be uncomfortable this last bit, Ollie. Brilliant running, Ollie. Up the final slope now. Jog Ollie at Alice Hall Park Run for Jog On. Pushing through. This is beautiful. Great running, Ollie. Those in front began to encourage Ollie as he surged forward. Thousands watching at home. 200 meters to go. Oh, Ollie, this is fantastic. Where did this come from? <laughs> no worries. Ollie, this is incredible. The camera's on him. He's pushing for it. He's driving. And then we're coming up to that top corner. The camera ran out of battery. I know. Desperately, I tried to get it to turn back on. Ollie's father happened to be filming us on his phone as we appeared from the forest. Go on, let's pray finish. But then, by some miracle, the camera spluttered back into life. Nice, Ollie. Beautiful. Coming through, Ollie. Let's do it. Look at that. Boom. Oh. He had done it. Amazing. <laughs> That was fantastic. 29.06. Absolutely phenomenal run from Jog Ollie. Just over 29 minutes. Ollie, very well done. Boom. How'd you feel? Good. Tired. We headed over to hand in our barcodes. Yes. On that course as well. 29.06. Well done, honey, and you beat me. You just absolutely smashed it at the end. You just went for it. And then realised something amazing. Oh my gosh. Look at your position. Just to top it off, Jog Ollie, 100th exactly. Harry Morgan, 101. What an effort from Jog Ollie. That last kilometre, he really started to pick it up. And those final 400 metres up the hill were absolutely superb. Ollie's quite tired. And so, slightly broken and mud splattered, we walked to the Alice Holt Park Run sign to have our photo taken. What a superb effort from Jog Ollie, knocking a full minute and a half of his time from just a week before. It's amazing what can come with a little bit of encouragement and pace management. Which leads me to say, I'm Harry Morgan, that's the amazing Jog Ollie, and this is Jog Ollie. Which leads me to say, I'm Harry Morgan, that's Jog Ollie, and this is Jog Ollie. <laughs> You'll stay with me.